Soccer Moms by Paul Muldoon. They remember Jean Chandler topping the charts with Duke of Earl. When the boys were set on taking the milk bars, one banquet and winning their hearts, Mavis and Merle. As it seemed their hearts might be first to yield, hearts before minds. Time for stilettos. Time for spivs with shivs. The time of day when light fails on the field while their daughters, themselves now tweeny girls, crowd round a coach for one last tete a tete. They remember Jean Chandler topping the charts with Duke of Earl. While the world still reeled from the anti-Castro Cubans going to sea in a Siev, as it seemed, their hearts might be first to yield, if only after forty years of one plane, one pearl, on the sweater they've sweated over for a bay of pigs vet and winning their hearts, Mavis and Merle, may now be faintly likelier for a well-heeled schlub to whom they once wouldn't so much as give the time of day when light fails on the field. A schlubster linesman will unfurl an off-site flag that signals some vague threat they remember Jean Chandler topping the charts with Duke of Earl. For three weeks only in 1962 might have taught them to shield themselves against the lives their daughters briefly relive. As it seemed, their hearts might be first to yield to this free kick that forever curls past the goal mouth, a ball at once winging into the back of the net and winning their hearts, Mavis and Merle, hanker for the time when it was not yet revealed, failures no less literal than figurative, the time of day when light fails on the field and gives back a sky more muddy than mother of pearl. So it's with a deepening sense of regret they remember Jean Chandler topping the charts with Duke of Earl and winning their hearts, Mavis and Merle.